And welcome back on Adobe Live, live from Paris. And I'm here for the next two hours with Philip Kautmann. Hello, Philip. How are you today? I'm doing fine, yeah. This Thank is you. day two. <laughs> Day two of designing in Adobe XD, based on the you know, like inspired by the fonts that um, that Adobe um, uh, unearthed from uh, the Bauhaus Dessau, and uh, uh, we're going to be talking about those fonts, of course, in the in the next two hours. But just a quick, um, uh, um, you know, like to go over the process of what we're going to be doing today. Uh, of course, we're going to be looking at what Philip did yesterday, and we're going to continue to work on his project. And um, uh, at, in about 30 minutes, we're going to have the chat and win. And the chat and win today uh, will enable you to win a really, really cool um, uh, Adobe Creative Cloud pillow. Oh, Is that something nice. you would want yeah. in your home? Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all my pillows at home are, are Creative Cloud. Yeah, it's yeah. Like all my pillows are red with the. With Can the I red. buy one somehow? Yeah. Buy them? No, or you have to win them, them with oh. chat and win. So I'm going to be And then <laughs> in about 90 minutes, of course, we have this ongoing uh, challenge for you guys that's, um, that's happening here on Adobe Live. And uh, what we ask you to do is to actually, if you go on, um, uh, on the. Um, on Behance, um, uh, there is a little tab that says challenge. And uh, basically what we, what we have here is, uh, is it's the description of what you need to do. You need to download the fonts, you need to use those fonts and, uh, and use them creativi creatively, creatively, okay, that's a very difficult word, um, uh, in, in the Bauhaus style. And then we're gonna be looking at them with, uh, with Philip and uh, decide on a winner. And the winner today will get a one year subscription to Creative Cloud. Okay, so be creative, use those fonts well. Uh, there's two to choose from right now, so um, there's a, yeah, there's a lot, lot of things that can be done. Also, if you don't win uh, the challenge here on Adobe Live, uh, you always have the chance to continue uh, the contest because there's a contest that um, uh, you're gonna, you can find out on adobehiddentreasures.com. It's all about the Bauhaus fonts and there's a contest there. And uh, there the grand prize is a MacBook Pro. That's pretty cool. Yep. So never give up, be creative, and, uh, and share it with us, okay? Everything is explained here on Adobe, um, uh, on behance.net slash live. All right. Philip, right. before we start, um, um, can we just have a little recap of what you do and who you are and uh, all the cool things you, you so, do in, yeah. in real life, yeah. like outside of this? Adobe Live universe, like, like it's, it's really nice here. So we have a background of your yeah. stuff, and uh, it's yeah, a, that's nice. Yeah, it's a thank you. <laughs> we actually have a huge studio this time. It's huge. Yeah, <laughs> it's huge. compared to what we're used to, this yeah. is like yeah, this is like a bonanza. All right, all right. So yeah, I'm Philip, the topman, and I'm a type designer, UI UX designer, and mostly a student. I'm currently studying media design in uh, Düsseldorf, Germany. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I've, I'm, uh, yeah, I've been leading my own font foundry for the last two years now. Mm -hmm. where while you are studying. Own, while I'm studying, yeah. Are okay. there many students, entrepreneurs like you? Not in my class, no. Not in your <laughs> class, okay, so. <laughs> so. I don't know any of them. But so do they look at you bad, like uh, this I, Philip? Like, I don't uh, know. I mean, <laughs> some of them are also very um, experienced already, and they're all uh. building something up, but I think I've been always like, yeah, very fast with, uh, with mm -hmm. that stuff, yeah. Okay. Maybe, you know, maybe we just, um, we could have a very quick look at, at your websites again. Yeah, sure, of course. Just so, uh, nice, yeah. so the people who are new here in the chat, uh, which weren't here yesterday. By the way, if you missed yesterday, the beginning of Philip's project, you can always watch the replays, either here on behance.net slash live, or uh, also on, uh, on the Adobe Creative Cloud YouTube channel. They're always there. Hello, everybody. Arturo, Faisal, Voodoo Val is here. Thanks for supporting us. Shalva, Andrea, Paul, Massimiliano. Oh, we have a lot of Italian sounding names today. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, so here it is. Yeah, here it is. Uh, it's just the collection of all of the fonts. I can just open one. Mm -hmm. This is uh, one of font of mine. Uh, it's called Coffee and Tea, and it's 
a font which you can use for um, yeah everything where you can could use a handwritten style font. And you also go, uh, get those sketches, so that's just one example. But we've got about 20 fonts now, mm -hmm. uh, and 3 million downloads on the font. 3 million downloads. 3 million downloads, yeah, right. Have you ever walked around or opened uh, a website <laughs> or and found your font? Yesterday, actually, in Paris. Yes? Yeah, they have like uh, some billboards with, with the movie which is coming up, which is called Midnight Sun. Okay. Which is starring uh, Patrick Schwarzenegger. And yeah, they Patrick just, Schwarzenegger. Patrick Schwarzenegger. I think it's uh, it's uh, Arnold's son. Ah yes, really? I think so. Oh, I just don't, okay. I don't so know. Arnold's son is <laughs> doing an actor. Do you, can we just Google that? Maybe? Yeah, I don't know if I can find the billboard, but I okay. But I've seen it, and Some I actually images, don't. Maybe. Oh, okay, it's in French. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's fine. Just go on images. Just, just yeah, go on okay. images. All right. And so. I saw that they used it on a French cover as well. Yeah, this one. Oh. Can I open it? Is it bigger? I don't know. Yeah. So the Leurs Rêve. This Leur yeah. Rêve. Leur right. Rêve prennent prenne vie la nuit. And they took your font. They took my font, yeah. <laughs> and I don't know if they licensed it, but... <laughs> oh, interesting. So that's something. Mm. Yeah, I've, uh, that uh, happened to me a lot. Also uh -huh. with Netflix. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Like Andrea yeah. says, the lesser known Schwarzenegger. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool. Like, like, like to see to see your work like that. Yeah. Um, you know, I always see um, um, Eric Spiekerman tweeting about seeing his fonts, yeah. you know, around. So yeah. I think that must be something really it's, cool. It's really like cool, when, yeah. when you see people actually yeah. using your font. That's why I'm doing it. Actually, mm -hmm. it's like really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank yeah. you to see your fonts. <laughs> All right. So. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. funny. That, that was a so that's me. impromptu question, and there was an unexpected answer from Philip. Yeah. Like, I just saw one billboard today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it really happens a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Maybe I could also show Icon Club. Absolutely. Which is the Icon app Club. I've released and yet it, we have that on your, on your screen as well. Yeah. There. All right. There's Icon Club there. Yeah. All right. Good. Mm -hmm. So, you can download it at fontpick.com. Just open this here, and it's a uh, software for you, for you to install and to use it while you're using uh, Adobe XD, for example, and you're creating a prototype, and you are in need for an icon. You just can drag it, drag and drop it in the program, and it will appear as a vector graphic. Mm. And you can also use them, um, yeah, free for commercial mm. projects. So that's cool. Yeah. So Massimiliano, uh, no, uh, you have to um, uh, the, for the yeah for the hidden treasures challenge, yes, but for our challenge, the one that finishes in an hour and a half, we have to you have to submit it like we tell you in the challenge tab here on behance.net slash live. All right, all right. Oh, we're now it looks like an app already. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, so so this, this was started yesterday. Yeah, this will be an iPad application mm -hmm. uh, for you to use the iPad as a tool for finding the right font uh, which you have already installed on your PC. So the iPad connects to your PC and knows which font you have installed and then you can filter them and you can find the right font and then you can pick it by uh, pressing on it. I thought I would like uh, to propose a long press on a font mm -hmm to apply it because one short press will uh, lead you to a site which is a detail page mm -hmm. where you can play around with the font. Um, you can type in your own text. You can see um, a sample paragraph where you can uh, change the spacing, the line height and also the text size. And you can also scroll through all of the letters to get a more closer mm -hmm. view to, uh, yeah, for the font. And you also got the option we for a night. one. Uh, which one? Justified. Justified? Well, how this is justified? No. Uh, what do when, you mean? The when the text is justified. Oh, yeah. Uh, it is. You, because now we have left. <laughs> we have uh, left aligned. Yeah. Center aligned. Yeah, right, right okay. Aligned. Yeah, right. Yeah, I wanted to keep uh, it okay, clean simple. and okay. uh, simple. <laughs> and yeah, of course, it should be also like some, um, yeah, just a. Uh, 
yeah, just some tools mm -hmm. to play with the uh, type. It shouldn't be like a real program where you could do all the things with ligatures and so you should do that in Illustrator and uh, not with my app. So yeah, but you're right. Okay, I stand I didn't corrected. Know. Yeah, okay. Right. And I've also <laughs> <laughs> I've also did a, a night mode version. If you click on the moon here, uh, moon icon, you will um, see the font and the paragraph and everything in uh, negative um, colors. And yeah, this is basically just for you to uh, explore the font you have just picked mm -hmm. and found with my app, with the filters. And yeah, this is what I've, what done, I've yesterday. done. Done yesterday. So what's right? the plan for today? So today uh, I want to create the first screen when you open the, uh, the app for the first time. Mm -hmm. So you will have to connect your PC and it will give you like a quick introduction into the app. And okay. then you click on OK and then you will be guided through this main page. Very well. And also I want to create um, the, um, yeah, the pop-ups that will come when you click on the mm -hmm. different uh, kind of filter options. Yeah. That's about it. All right. Let's right. do it. Let's start. And you guys in the chat, be creative, participate in our contest. We will be checking it. Let me see if there's already things arriving there. But you have time. Don't be... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's good. Nope, nothing new yet. People are just working. So this will be a header image where you also can click on a play button to get a video that explains the app, mm -hmm. the app function. And I'm going to get that from Adobe Stock. You know you can go to Stock through the Creative Cloud icon there. Oh yeah, I can do that. Yeah, yeah. let's do this. Actually, it's easier. Yeah, it's Just easier. search here. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> much, much easier. Yeah. <laughs> <That's>, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was a good trick, thank you. Shalva, yes, uh, well, you know, it would, would be nice if you were here, um, if you should win. But of course, if you're not there, um, you will probably be notified that you won. If you win. So did you find the image you were looking for? Yeah, I found the image. I think I will go oh. with this one because it looks like, yeah, the good old time. Okay. Type design. And yeah. We'll just drag and drop this into the square I've already created because it, it's the same square as which I've used here. Okay. So this will be, yeah, the video. Does it say anything? No. No, I don't think so. No. No. And I'm glad to see that the letters are reversed because there's yeah. so many people who do these yeah. woodcut imagery oh, right. and you can yeah. actually read it. Yeah. And you, I think, what? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's... <laughs> you, you know what I that's mean. That's true, yeah, right? I know yeah. what you mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure there's some on Adobe stock as well. <laughs> hey, Alexandre. Hello. I'm so sad I missed you at the yo-yo yesterday. I really am. Alexandre Becquet was there. So Philip is using Adobe XD, which is a prototyping app. And um, I think this app will be more and more important in our design workflows because um, experiences is, is really, I think, part of the future of design. And um, designers will be asked by their clients and their, uh, their projects to do more and more um, experience design. Like what happens when you do something um, on screen or in a game or on a web web page 
And being able to prototype it so fast in Adobe XD really makes it easy for you to understand the idea, to show it to your uh, clients. And also, what's really cool is that you can then export the whole thing or share the whole thing with your developers and have them um, do the programming work with it. That's nice, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool! In the chat, there is a little little button to get your uh, your Bauhaus fonts. Yes, because we released two of those fonts, and uh, basically what we did is, together with the Bauhaus and Dessau, um, we unearthed uh, some sketches from uh, from almost a hundred years ago from the design school there. And uh, these sketches are from students and teachers there. And um, uh, then we had. Eric Spickerman with a whole bunch of designers uh, around the world actually recreate those fonts from the sketches that we unearthed uh, uh, at the Bauhaus and create the fonts with it. So the designers really um, redesigned all the letters and then the Typekit team transformed these, uh, um, these letter forms into actual fonts and these are the fonts that you can download. Um, we're releasing two this week. Uh, in the coming month, we'll be releasing more of these uh, Bauhaus fonts, so stay tuned. I think it's a super cool project. And what's also cool is that people who don't necessarily know about the Bauhaus 100 years after, we had some people here in the chat yesterday, uh, I don't know what the Bauhaus is, mm. you know, they can actually learn about you know, the Bauhaus and, uh, and what it is and why it was important. That's true. I like to think that we're making a little bit of history here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shalva, uh, yeah, you're looking forward to what XD will look like in a few years from now? Well, I think I'm excited to see what XD will look like in a few months from now. This is such a fast development uh, for XD. And um, it, with XD, we've started a super interesting thing that we've involved the community very early on in, uh, in the development of the, of the application. And for example, if you go under the help menu, can you quickly go there? Yeah. In the, in the help menu of XD. Oh, in the help menu, okay, sorry. Yeah. You can go and uh, provide feedback. Yeah. Okay. And basically this goes to um, uh, Adobe XD uservoice.com. And the really cool thing there is that um, you, can, you can submit your, your wishes or what you think uh, Adobe XD should do, but also um, submit bugs. And uh, this is a really cool place to upvote also features that you want to see in uh, Adobe XD. And um, of course, you know, like this, like a hit parade of features, right? Now, now we have a really clear list of what the community wants. And this is what the development team the, uh, is actually working on. So yes. we can see there's a whole stuff, a whole bunch of stuff that's been uh, updated. Oh, yeah, or bug is fixed, yeah. or you know, like etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Nice. Hey, Olivier Bertrand from Canada. Oh, David, that's a good question. Oh, okay. Voodoo Val says yes. A GIF will work. Can you have access to your CC libraries in XD? Yes. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. With, wait, where? With um, the assets tool, right? No. It is, um, God, I'm lost now. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Okay. But, but, okay. <laughs> Can I open XD as well? <laughs> in the menu, that's right, Alexandre, in the menu. Right. File, uh, open CC libraries. Wow. There you go. If I have some insights on the next update release date, 
Well, you know, the XD team is releasing um, on a very regular basis. So um, it's not like we have to wait, like in the good old times of Creative Suite <laughs> or the single apps uh, where we had to wait like a year and a half. That mm -hmm. was like an 18 month circle, uh, cycle. Now it's much, much faster. Connect to PC Mac, what font is that? This is the Avenir font, which is uh, the main font I will be using for the UI. So everything you will see here, like the names of the fonts or the option to type your text, which is just a placeholder, uh, is in that font. Because it's uh, also um, installed on mm -hmm. every iPad as a default. Okay. And I really like that font because it's such a mm. geometrical font and yeah. Haha, <laughs> Olivier Bertrand, I know, I can't wait to, uh, to play with the fixed element feature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> the legal team says me too, too, so. <laughs> what? No jokes today? Oh, today is no joke day? Okay. No jokes. Today we are dead serious. Because it's day two. Philip is much more relaxed than yesterday. Yeah. I'm glad to say, but <laughs> <laughs> I would need a like a quick um, text which describes the app okay. for the like the, the the first screen like type Piper the app for you to okay. browse through your phones mm -hmm. and I'm a little bit stuck here. Mm -hmm. Do you guys like have have a suggestion? Yeah, or like a little phrase that that yeah, explains right. the app. Yeah, right. So. Browse and pick fonts. No, that's, that doesn't <laughs> sounds about right. Hmm. hmm. Yeah. So, what is the unique selling proposition of your app? Why are you making this app? The app uh, should make designers' lives easier because you can pick and find fonts which you have already installed, and find new ones on Typekit with mm -hmm. uh, with uh, yeah one app, and. Yeah. So, so streamlining your font adventures. Yeah, that sounds about that sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great, actually. That's what yeah, you. That's, 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 right. Yeah, that's that's yeah. That's it's an adventure. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> You can almost tell that I'm in the marketing side of things, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah you are. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have come up with that. Oh, I didn't. That I, 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 I didn't even see that you made. You called it typed, typed Piper. Oh yeah, yeah. It's. Uh, when did you come up with that? Did I miss that? Because um, the icon which I've yeah, yeah, yeah. chosen yesterday yeah. already is from the show. Uh, HBO series yeah. um, Silicon Valley, where they have a fake company which is called Pied Piper, and so it's a real company. Uh, it's a real <laughs> company. Okay, all right. I didn't it, know it, that. In, in the series. In the series, yeah, it's a real company, <laughs> and uh, because they have to change their business model so often, mm -hmm. I just thought of a joke that I, now they have to like mm -hmm. make a program yeah. for type, type Piper. designers. Okay. So it's not Pied Piper now; it's Typed Piper, and it's just a little reference forever. Everyone mm -hmm. who knows that show, and yeah. And the video would just play, or? No, you can uh, activate it by clicking okay. on the play button, so. If you don't want that, you can mm -hmm. just start and connect it to your PC. Mm -hmm. And if you click on that button, uh, there will be a pop-up which I'm um, creating on now. top. Yeah. Right. Yep. Type Piper. Now all we need is the investors. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, as always.
It's so cool to see Philip like designing all the screens. Um, and then we're also gonna add interactivity to it. Yeah, like of course. Yeah. How you navigate through them. Yeah. I love it. I love the experience. So now the user will have uh, an option if the f uh, Mac that is shown mm -hmm. here is the user's Mac. So he can click on, yeah, it's my Mac, or he can click okay. on, no, it's not mine. Okay. And then he will be... Oh, so it goes over Wi-Fi? Uh, it goes over Wi-Fi, yeah. Okay. So you only, uh, also have to be in the same Wi-Fi okay. to use yeah. the application. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, and Lee Cooper is becoming so French. I believe demain <laughs> was talking about a challenge. <laughs> Means tomorrow. <laughs> Too many days in France, Lee. <laughs> a demain. All right, am I good again? Perfect. So Darren, is there any way to increase your chances for the giveaway? Nope. <laughs> I could give you my PayPal account, but no, there isn't. <laughs> the giveaway will be in a few minutes, um, the chat and win giveaway, and we're giving away a Creative Cloud pillow. And please continue submitting your um, your artwork for the uh, daily challenge. Um, we're going to be looking at those in exactly uh, 60 minutes. And to know about the challenge, you have to be on behance.net slash live in the challenge tab on the right of the screen. You have all, the, all of the information. Oh, Axel, 3 a.m. in the Philippines. Thanks, Thanks for being with us. You sleepless design hero. <laughs> and Leo, yeah, um, designing is zen. Especially on the new MacBook Pros where the, where the keypad has become so noisy. You can, you can hear every, <laughs> like type. It's true, yeah. Type something. And I'm yeah, not even like, uh, typing uh, uh, loud. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron says, you make it look so easy. Me? Yeah. Maybe it's easy. I don't Maybe know. it's easy. You know? Well, thank you. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, Voodoo Val, uh, thank you for um, saying that again. Yes, um, remember that your challenge entry will not be approved if it is a repeat entry. We have very, very um, eagle-eyed moderators here who will find and destroy repeat entries.
All right, and I think we're ready for the chat and win. All you have to do is be in the chat, say something nice to Philip about XD, about the Bauhaus Dessau, and chat and win. Boom! Chat and win. Uh, we're waiting for the winner. Okay, oh wow, the chat is getting crazy. No, no, okay, no, no, you continue for another minute or so. Perfect, go, 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 chat and win. Okay, and don't say anything serious in the chat during the chat and win because we're gonna lose your comment. So if you Thank have you a serious, water. like if you have a question you want to ask me or Philip, yeah, wait until the chat and win is over and um, uh, and ask it again. Otherwise, I'll have to like scroll up the whole chat. How long does the chat and win actually last for? One minute? No? Yeah? Seven hours. Seven hours. Oh, and we have a winner. And the winner is Neil Arch. Neil Arch, you just won yourself a, a Creative Cloud pillow. We're going to be shipping that to you as soon as possible. So the team will be in touch with you to get all the data necessary to make that shipment. Nice. Aren't you unhappy that you didn't win? I'm you very unhappy. You, you want that pillow so jealous. badly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So congratulations. And yep, lucky guy. <laughs> Perfect. OK. Back to work. So when you think about, you know, like what you put on the buttons, where you put them, do you also think about usability? Do you think about like how people would interact with your page or? Yeah, of course, like, yeah. yeah. Um, mostly I think about how would I, uh, I would like to re react mm -hmm. with it and uh, yeah, so. So you actually think of yourself as a normal user? Yeah. Okay. That's true, yeah. You and do? Yeah, I mean <laughs> with this app I really would use it. it it's okay. my um, yeah, it's my area of um, prof no, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's where I work. I mean I, I work with fonts and so I would like to use this app mm. by myself. And I think that's the point when I'm doing mm. something which I would use, mm. I'm better at it to design it. And um, yeah, but I also think of uh, the user. So, for example, if I'm choosing the colors, I want the lighter color, the more friendly color, mm -hmm. to be the yeah continue okay. color. And instead of green and red. Yeah, right. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, of course there. Yeah. And the darker color mm. is the no the. And Leo one. Leo Herrera says, I feel the secondary uh, the secondary text needs to be more called out maybe, since the actions button correspond with it. Mm. All right, okay. Yeah, we can do that, of course. Mm -hmm. I just th uh, thought of it uh, because I have these uh, four uh, colors here, but we can mm -hmm. like try 50%. And so, Jose, uh, the challenge. So the challenge that we have going on is basically very simple. All you have to do is to, um, to go here on uh, behance.net slash live, and there's a tab that says challenge. And there we have all the explanations, like in a little um, bullet point um, fashion. You have to download the fonts. You have to use um, uh, the fonts in any Adobe app. It can be Photoshop, it can be uh, uh, InDesign, it can be uh, Illustrator. And you have to create a digital logo in the Bauhaus style. So if you don't know what the Bauhaus style is, um, I would invite you to um, to Google Bauhaus and go and look at some images and like yeah. find inspiration there or even go on um, adobehiddentreasures.com. There's a whole article that we wrote there about the fonts and about the Bauhaus and where they come from and why we made them. So, so you can actually learn a little bit about the Bauhaus and then when the logo is complete, there is a, um, uh, a link there uh, on woobox.com where you can actually submit the logo. And remember, don't submit the same work a second time or a third time, okay? Because it will get removed, sadly, but surely. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, Neil, I hope you enjoy your, your pillow and work on your logo entry now. Hey, who knows? Yes, good luck, challengers. And then remember that if you don't win in, the, in our Adobe Live Challenge, um, you can always um, uh, do the um, Adobe Hidden Treasures um, uh, Challenge or contest. Uh, and the prize there is a, uh, an Apple MacBook Pro. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, yeah. yeah. I wonder if the Apple MacBook Pro has Creative Cloud loaded onto it already, but... <laughs> Oh, Marco says, I think XD for Mac is better. For Windows, some options like change text size is weird. Why? Um, well, one thing for sure is that we have, we try to have um, uh, parity between um, uh, Mac and Windows, of course. Um, we try our best so that the two applications are exactly the same. Sometimes, you know, it becomes complicated due to the operating system because they do work uh, differently. Uh, so there could be some slight differences, but our goal is really to have uh, parity um, across uh, OSs. So there is no real reason why. So yeah, um, when you've clicked on yet yeah, continue, mm -hmm. you will be guided through uh, to this page which is basically the main page with a um, yeah, overlay mm -hmm. that will introduce the program to, to the user. And then you will uh, get a button which says, got it, and you can start by exploring okay. the app. Yeah, continue. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when do you finish your studies? Uh, next year, actually. Next year, one yeah. more year. Yeah, well, now half a year, like, oh, maybe more, in March. In March, In okay. March already. All right, okay. Yeah. Do you already have an idea about your thesis or? No, not yet. Not yet? Yeah, okay. but I have to think about this. Yeah. <laughs> in the next couple of weeks, but yeah. So what does it entail? Like you have to write a thesis and? Uh, yeah, we have to create a project with a thesis mm -hmm. and, uh, also, basically, basically, we can do whatever we want to do. Mm -hmm. So we can create an app, we can create a font, mm -hmm. we can a a everything you've done already. So yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I will think of something, but yeah. yeah. Maybe I could already connect them with a prototype feature. Mm -hmm. yes. Or should I do it at the end? I don't know. No, no, as, as you wish, as you would do oh, normally. Right. Okay. Because okay. Adobe Live is all about watching creative okay, pros just right. like you do their thing. Okay. And right. if, if you want to add um, interactivity now, I can do it. You can do Got it. it. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Oh, that's where. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so, yeah. So I don't know if anybody knows this feature. I think they know it because it's mm -hmm. one of the main features of Adobe XD. But you can uh, click on prototype and then you can click on the buttons uh, you want to um, connect with a, with a page you've created uh, to link it to. And then you can draw a line to the page you wanted to link to. And you can uh, also decide which effect you want to run. I think I will do slide right. And he's out, yeah, yeah, that's nice. Okay. 
just look at this. Okay, we should do slide left then. Yeah. Yeah. I always mix up these two. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Remember, it's easy. Yeah. Left is the hand that makes the L. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, okay. But actually, this should be a dissolve because it is a pop up mm -hmm. uh, window. I just got that wrong. So, dissolve. Sounds about right. And we're doing a slide here. It was left, right? No, it wasn't right. What? I just forgot <laughs> what we decided. Left. Left, right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, all right. We got it. <laughs> and Leo says, the fun fact, publishing a prototype without linking artboards simply shows your XD project as slides from left to right, top to mm, bottom. That's nice mm. too. Yeah. You know, I, I know many more many people that actually use XD for their presentations uh, instead of using PowerPoint or Apple mm. Keynote. Uh, because you know you can have all the you know the stars, your buttons, your things, and like it can be very very useful. Also yeah. to export them as uh, as a little movie clip and things like that. It's, it's many cool things you can do with Adobe XD. So let's run it and. Yeah, pop up. So Shalva is asking, is there uh, a way to keep things neat even once you have loads of links going on between artboards? Um, basically, you only see the links um, of the selected artboard. Um, to see all the links, you would actually need like to do select all, right? Yeah, um, yeah right. that's right. Uh, so basically, you never really see all of the links together, right? Except when you select everything, right? No, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. it just shows you the mm -hmm. slide you've clicked on, but if I, yeah, then yeah. you would see them yeah. all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the best thing is to, um, yeah, start a grid, and uh, I would uh, recommend by uh, creating the slides in the right order in one line, mm -hmm. and then if you want to create um, a screen that maybe like a pop-up for this search icon, I would, um, yeah, it was, um, just move it on top of it. Or We're gonna be doing it. it. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so yeah, you would just click on connect to PC or Mac. Mm -hmm. And then there's this pop-up and it says, yeah, that's that's your PC. And you, yeah, continue. And then you click on got it and all of your fonts were loaded. And that's the first. These are all the fonts that are on the PC. Yeah, right. Yeah. On your PC. Not on your iPad, on your PC, which mm -hmm. is yeah. And I think tomorrow we will uh, adding Typekit to the party. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can access Typekit the by Typekit Party. The Typekit Party by clicking on this icon here, which shows you that you are currently connected to your PC mm -hmm. and that you see your PC's fonts, but maybe you want to see new fonts, mm -hmm. which you haven't installed yet, and you will be able to sync them with this feature as well. Yeah, but we will come to that at a later point. So yeah, uh, as I told you already, I will start with the uh, filter options now and I will create the page above this page I think yeah we'll do that mm -hmm. so we'll start with the search icon Yeah, Alexandre, that's right. In French, uh, it, it, it does not, it's not possible to do a D with the right hand for droite, but uh, you can make the G for gauche. <laughs> so 
Somebody is making a coffee. Yeah, <laughs> I'm hearing that. <laughs> Who is it? Yeah, French Everything is pixel perfect. Yeah, of course. I hope so. I don't know if I should uh, also use this icon for the search. I mean, what do you think? Ah. Is it too too much I, um, search icons? It, I think it's place? it's like a repeti like an yeah. unnecessary repetition. Yeah, I think so too. Because basically, you've selected it, so yeah, you you're right. I'm I'm becoming an experienced designer here. <laughs> <laughs> you've never never done that before? No, no, yes, yes, I, I've had my thoughts put into that sort of stuff. Nice. <laughs> Actually, now that I remember, like back in 1988 <laughs> or 89, I actually designed the experience for a Bancomat. All right. Yeah. OK. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, that was super interesting, but of course this was just, you know, screens. Yeah. Uh, there was no interaction at the time. Ah, that's a good question, David. Do you think the magnifying glass will ever be replaced? It's like the hourglass for time, yeah. Um, yeah. Search. I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, I don't know, it's so iconic. Yeah. Icon it's iconic, because iconic. It, iconic. It's yeah. iconic, um, because yeah, I don't know. What else? Like, I think it's... What else will you put? Like, tell us in the chat. I mean, um, what else would you use for search? A microscope? <laughs> A telescope? <laughs> it's a really good question, though. A metal detector. <laughs> you see that always it already becomes too complex. I was thinking of the of, of the zoom magnifying glass in XD. The zoom magnifying glass in XD. Oh, this one? This one? No. All oh, right, because it's a ah. magnifying glass here and not a search. Ah. Oh yeah, yeah, ah. that's true. Ah, okay, yeah, good point. You got a point, yeah. Good point. Yeah. But then again, um, it has its place there as well. Like I want to zoom in. Yeah. Or zoom out. You know. Good point. We have a very eagle-eyed, eagle-eyed chat today. Oh, a dog like Lycos. A dog icon for search. What kind of dog? It should be a beagle. <laughs> um, so yeah, I thought about doing an a whole, um, uh, yeah, and oh, this is a like us dog. Um, pop up for the search. Let's see, all right, okay. What is like us? Is that like a search, a search engine? engine? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I 
Yeah, right? Mine is. Yeah, maybe one day we'll do the hidden treasures of Lycos. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and Butler, that's right. What else was there? Yeah, and then Google took everybody by storm and says, you, you're making search engines? <laughs> I don't think so. An eye icon, mm -hmm. I want to see. Was it, is, is it more like a visible thing? If mm -hmm. you can like hide or yeah, hide or, or yeah. show see something. Or not see. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, Aaron, Aaron, that's a very good question. What is this hidden treasure things you're talking about? All I can find is the Munch brush from last year. Well, this week, we launched the Hidden Treasures Bauhaus Dessau. And basically what we did, we unearthed some very old sketches, almost a hundred year old sketches um, of uh, students from the Bauhaus. And we transformed these sketches of type into real fonts. And you can found those, find those fonts on Typekit and actually use them. And uh, there's a whole bunch of links in the challenge tab here. And there's even a link here on, uh, um, in the chat here on behance.net slash live uh, that lets you download the new Bauhaus fonts immediately from there. Um, and basically, uh, if you go to adobehiddentreasures.com, uh, one word, Adobe Hidden Treasures, uh, you can find out all about um, the ba uh, Bauhaus Dessau. That's a very good question, Alexon. Do we know how many fonts will be rebuilt or finished? Well, we're, we we have made two of them available this week, and there's more to come. Let yourself be surprised. So what's the idea behind having the text like fade out? So yeah, this uh, shows your recent search. Yep. Uh, so the longer the search has been like, yeah, far, yeah. The so recency. Yeah, of the, the search yeah you know, it shows you which is the most recent uh, mm -hmm. search, um, uh, search font. And, and yeah, that's basically mm -hmm. the idea behind mm -hmm. that, yeah. Yes, c'est une réponse de Normand. <laughs> Let me see. Well, if you go on adobehiddentreasures.com, it actually tells you, all right? So I can actually give you the real answer. Five beautiful alphabets have been meticulously completed and digitized by renowned type designer Eric Spitkeman and his students. 
Now, for the first time, we're making two fonts available exclusively to Creative Cloud members with more to come. So five beautiful alphabets. Well, Esther, um, are the fonts available to download or are they only on Typekit? Basically, when you activate them on Typekit, they get downloaded to your computer. And then you can use them in Photoshop, InDesign, um, uh, Illustrator, heck, even Microsoft Word for that matter, because they are downloaded on your machine, all right? And, um, but yeah, you have to be uh, a Creative Cloud member. Yes, that's for sure. You're looking for Futura? Yep. <laughs> yes. I would be looking for something much more obscure than Futura. Which is that? I don't What's know. That? So, Alexandre, I'm not sure I understand your question. Do you have any idea how much time you have to redo or finish fonts? Um, do you mean how long it took them, the students to uh, actually do the fonts? Um, I'm waiting for clarification on that, um, uh, on that um, question. And yes, there's 30 minutes left for the, um, for the challenge here on Adobe, um, on Adobe Live. So make sure you submit following all the rules and uh, in the challenge section of uh, behance.net slash live. Oh, okay. Esther, you want to be able to use them on multiple machines but can't sign in to my Adobe CC account at school. Oh, that's sad. Why not? That's weird. Ah, Paola, why is Brazil out of the Hidden Treasures Challenge? Uh, it's Brazil is probably not the only country that's out. It's, uh, it's a legal challenge sometimes. And uh, yes, there are these rules. Um, I'm not making them, <laughs> but there are complexities. Oh, so, okay, so basically, Alexander, what you're asking for is how long it took the students. Well, it depends. The students got the sketches from the Bauhaus, uh, so the basic letters, and they, um, they basically retraced the letters using Illustrator and, um, and recreated all the missing letters, like, um, uh, based on, on these initial sketches. And then some of the students went even the extra length to do uh, ligatures and alternates and uh, a whole bunch of other characters that, you know, that we didn't even think of at the beginning of the project. So um, I'm really amazed at what the students, together with Eric Spiegelman, were able to do in recreating those fonts and uh, the dedication they put into their work and how they, um, uh, yeah, the, the work they created is, 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 is completely uh, amazing. And... Um, and, uh, and then the Typekit team took these drawings and made them into fonts. All right, Esther, if, if the school has their own CC account, well, all you need to do is, um, but basically when you open an InDesign file or a Photoshop or Illustrator file uh, and the fonts are missing, but they're Typekit fonts, they should get activated automatically. Um, I don't see any issue there. Um, 
please let me know if, if you think there is an issue. And I'll look, I'll look into it. And uh, Simon, if I don't know if I submit my logo twice because I can see it on the gallery. Can you tell me please? Okay, I'll let, I'll let Voodoo Val ask, answer my questions. Oh, and Dirk, Dirk is, is, uh, is being very facetious. No MacBook Pros allowed in Brazil. No, that's not the reason. <laughs> oh, you can't get into Typekit. Okay, that's a problem, yes. Depending on the license that the school has, that can be a problem, yes, I agree. Yeah, so most of the students are um, at a type conference in New York right now. Yes, the, the students who have worked oh, on the project. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and Eric said, ah, I didn't want to go to New York, so I came to Paris instead, which makes me very happy because we had Eric Spiekerman here on Adobe Live yesterday. You can watch the, the replay, and I think there's a lot of um, cool information that Eric shared yesterday about the fonts. Well, Dirk, why can I only sync 100 fonts? That's the, <laughs> that's the eternal problem, right? <laughs> um, you know, like in, back in the days when you had too many fonts on your computer, your computer would slow down and crash. So you ha this is when it started with uh, like uh, font managers mm. um, where you could turn fonts on and off. Um, uh, and uh, basically, um, I think if you need 100 fonts on your machine, there's something wrong. Um, I mean, Come on, like, really? Can you imagine needing a hundred fonts all the time? Oh, I know. But yeah. if anyway. you have a good search app where you can filter all your fonts on your iPad, yeah. But why have them on your the machine and take up space? And you know, anyway, you can sync them very <laughs> so quickly, and uh, you know. But yeah, I you're right. Yeah. But I think it's a, it's like it's like a random limit, and um, I'm I'm pretty sure they're looking into that. Hmm? Yeah, I don't know. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. That's all. Oh, that's right, uh, Dirk. That's a that's a very good point here from my legal team. Is that um, uh, every time you use a font from Typekit, when you download it, which it's actually very cool for whoever designed the font because they're getting money. <laughs> and uh, every time you download the font, Adobe pays. Uh, Typekit, you know, Adobe Typekit pays the the, um, the designers of these fonts uh, their royalties. So maybe that's why there is a, a, a limit. Yeah, there could be a button like install all of the Typekit fonts, all of them, <laughs> on my computer now. But. Yeah, Esther, I understand. Uh, so that's the how your school is being set up. Yeah. Yes, Alexandre was at the yo-yo trying to find Rufus. <laughs> but Rufus ran away. Rufus had to be on the, like I'm talking to of myself yeah. in the third person, you know. I was wondering. R Rufus had to be here at Adobe Live. Yeah. So Leo, does Adobe have an official Discord or Slack or Spectrum chat uh, or community? Well, there's a lot of um, uh, communities, not really a chat. Well, one thing that I mentioned before is, uh, of course, uh, the uh, user voice that we use for um, XD. We use user voice for InDesign and Illustrator now as well. 
uh, which is a really good way for the community to give feedback on the applications, to, uh, um, um, to ask us for new features. And, uh, and the cool thing is that other users can then upvote the question or uh, upvote the feature request. Um, you can also, um, 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 uh, yeah, like uh, if you, f you find a bug, you can put it there. And, uh, and it's really cool on uh, user voices because you actually see a status of uh, where your question is. So that's, that's pretty cool. And other communities, um, I can talk about Behance, for example. Behance is, a, is an incredible creative community. Um, I've seen so many you know, um, people like finding great work or jobs uh, through Behance. Um, I've seen incredible collaborations between artists uh, that found each other on Behance, or you know that may maybe um, you're um, uh, I don't know you're a screen designer and you maybe need a hand letter to do something very cool with uh, with type. Well, you know Behance uh, can can get you together. Um, there's also of course the the forums, the Adobe forums, uh, where people talk about the applications and. Uh, um, ask questions there, and there is like um, uh, community professionals who actually answer the questions. Anything else that I can think of? No. So, Kathy, um, uh, I have a question for you. When you design an app like this one, do you have the mobile version in mind at the same time, and do you present it to the client along with the desktop and or tablet version? That's a good question. Uh, in this case, I don't have a mobile version in mind because I think it makes more sense that you use um, your library of fonts and to explore them on a big screen. Mm -hmm. So there could be a mobile version, but I'm not uh, considering this while designing the iPad version. So I'm not um, changing anything mm -hmm. because I think, oh, all right, it has to work on an iPhone mm -hmm. too. But uh, yeah. All right. So, so that in this depends case, on the iPad product. first. Yeah. <laughs> and Voodoo Val has a very interesting link here uh, for our XD Slack channel. So if you use Slack, there is a Slack channel for XD. Yeah, Heidi, that's right. Behance supports collaboration. Um, and you know, um, I wish I had Behance when I began design, uh, like to find talent around me, like even you know across the globe. Um, I've seen so many examples of people actually doing really cool work for like the, from the most remote places um, because they were discovered on Behance. Um, it's really a great platform, and it's a really great platform to find um, like-minded um, designers, people who do the same kind of things or completely different things. Um, in all sorts of, of uh, you know, of, of work, of creative work. It goes from, you know, from graphic design, of course, illustration, to UX, UI design, but also to fashion design, to, uh, to uh, I think there's also, um, there, th there's a whole bunch of, um, of different um, um, uh, sections there. And I use Behance a lot to find my guests for Adobe Live. Yep. That's right, Alexandre. There's so many filters in the search engine. So you guys have another 20 minutes before we start looking at your submissions. And of course, another great community is the Adobe Live community. 
we forgot to mention the Adobe Live community. We're in Adobe Live, and that's a great community. And um, we have it here, you in the chat, for example. Uh, there's a whole a German Adobe Live community. I stream in German once a month. Actually, I'm going to be streaming in German next week from Munich. Hey, you could nice. be a guest one of these days, maybe. <laughs> For how long? <laughs> <laughs> Three days. Three days again, two Three hours days. each day. Yeah. You can do the same thing in German. No, no just uh -huh. kidding. <laughs> oh, Voodoo Val is such a stressing time. Everybody's asking, did you get my logo? Did you see my logo? Yeah, that's right. That's another cool filter that you can do in uh, Simon. Um, the cool thing about Behance, you, you can search work in similar colors. Yep, next week we're live from Germany and San Francisco. So for Germany is German time from 10 to 6, and then um, German time from 6 to 2 a.m., 3 a.m. from San Francisco. But that's what, 9 a.m. in San Francisco? Yeah. Ah, uh, Walter, yeah. When, I, when will we be live from Brazil? <laughs> I wish, you know, come, come to Rio or Sao Paulo. Adobe Live, live from Sao Paulo. <laughs> so, you've been working along. What yeah. happened here? Um, yeah, a lot, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so, I've added the feature th uh, so that you can um, change a best recommendation so that you can only see fonts that are best for headlines or mm -hmm. best for paragraphs and you will get that option and if you click on one option and you close that um, slide in uh, pop up uh, pop up and uh, yeah then oh, and then it filters through. then it filters mm -hmm. through all the fonts I've just picked the ones mm -hmm. which I think are good for headlines and yeah it also shows you the filter in that little box over here it also does the same thing with yeah with the search and we'll do the same thing with uh, the style. Okay. And if you click on that little arrow, a uh, little cross over here, uh, you will close it and go close it and go back to the main screen. Yeah, right. Keep on submitting. There is a one-year subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud to be one. Hmm, quite a few submissions. We look at them. We we'll look. Right, okay.
Massimiliano, when we stream from Germany, we stream out of Munich. Live auf dem Geobrauchlerring. <laughs> That's right, Esther, we are streaming live from Paris. We wanted to be near the Bauhaus in Dessau. Nearer than, than San, Fra yeah, San Francisco. So many things changed. We have another production team. Yes. Do you ever use the filters in the in Typekit as well? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Huh? yeah. So they are so many of the filters I uh, they, mm -hmm. I love in, in Typekit. Mm -hmm. I've used in this uh, program. So the mm -hmm. filter to um, yeah look for headline fonts or paragraph fonts. I like that one. And yeah, so that's mm -hmm. where I got my ideas from. <laughs> That's right. Munich is the south of Germany, which is basically the north of Italy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Bavaria and Tuscany, same thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> almost. absolutely, <laughs> almost. <laughs> You said you're in Dusseldorf? Yeah, right. Dusseldorf, yeah. Dusseldorf. That's where they have this crazy uh, station construction going on right now, right? Is that in Dusseldorf? No, is it? No, in... I don't think so. No. I always mix up Dusseldorf and. Well. I don't remember. <laughs> I need to see a map. <laughs> You're gonna laugh when I tell you. I'm, I'm a visual person. Cologne, I, maybe? No, 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 no. I was born in Cologne. I know okay, what, all right. <laughs> what Cologne is. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, Munich. Sec. Uh, Stuttgart, of course. Yeah, I always mix them up. I don't know oh, why. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Is it still there? I don't know. The, the, the train construction? Yeah, it should be, right? Yeah, I mean, it's going to last forever. <laughs> I think they already ran out of money and... Uh, like with the... Uh, what's that called? Like when in Berlin with the... With the, the tunnels? No. Oh. We can't find our words today. Yeah. This is I'm Adobe sorry, Live. Guys, sorry. And uh, yes, in Paris, it's uh, 20 past 10 p.m. And that's the Night Shift with Philip and Rufus. And one thing that you can all see is how fast everything is, right? Right, yeah. Have you ever come into a situation where your project got so complex that it started slowing down? Yeah, sometimes, you, really? yeah. Sometimes yeah. when you have like very, very much of the shapes and like mm -hmm. very complex artworks, then it can happen, but yeah. 
but not not with XT, okay. of course. Ah. <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, you mean like in Illustrator before you had XT? Yeah, okay. right. <laughs> oh, like the Berlin Airport. Yeah, airports. Ah, airports. Yeah, airport. Yeah, airport. That's such, the word. Such a simple Thank word. Thank you, but... chat. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah, that's a crazy story too. Yeah. I mean, oh, Uh, one cool feature I also really like in XD is that if you copy something somewhere and you paste it on a different art page, a main page or something, yeah, uh, you can just paste it and it will, um, yeah, be pasted on the on exactly the same position. The same position. Mm -hmm. And I use that feature a lot, um, yeah, because it's very easy to mm -hmm. to copy some parts of different artboards. Mm. So Leo says, I've definitely experienced slow load up times with my XD files when they exceed 13 megabytes. Mm. 13, all right. I'd have to check user voice to see if other people have the same problem or issue. Yeah, because 13 megabytes don't seem that many to me. <coughs> no, it's not. No. But Leo says, then again, I work on a Windows machine, so <laughs> maybe ah, the apps just the behave problem. differently per platform. No. Well, they shouldn't, but... <gasps> Nine minutes left for our Adobe Live challenge. We're gonna be looking at your submissions. Remember, they have to be in the Bauhaus style. And Philip here will choose a winner of a one-year subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud. Ah, Voodoo Val is doing the submissions, please. Your submission is a duplicate and cannot be approved. <laughs> and Akash says, Philip, is this kind of UI style your personal preference or do you have a reason for it? Most of the icons and CTAs are huge in size. Yeah. Um I like the style with um, the iPad application because when you have an iPad, mm -hmm. uh, you should have like big buttons and a clean, um, a, yeah, a clean grid and everything, so that you can touch on it easily and mm -hmm. you won't miss the button you were aiming for. And so, um, with um, UI for, uh, with a UI for a computer uh, on a on a web page or something like that, mm. I wouldn't make them as big as, mm -hmm. as they are here. But uh, yeah, that's um, something I've learned with um, the design for, um, yeah, UI design for iPads mm -hmm. and uh, touch devices. So yeah, that's the style I prefer and Yeah, again, Alexandre and Andrea, this is of course depending on what the operating system allows us to do has always to do something with that. That's right, Voodoo Val is protecting us from duplicates one entry at a time.
That's right, Mel. Looks like some details is getting done. And Voodoo Val in her superhero pose. Fear not, citizens, I'm here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, get, going between systems can be odd and dis disorienting. That's right, Andrea. And you know, when people ask me, why do you use a Mac? You know, you always have a Mac. And I said, well, that's what I'm used to. That's just it, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And Simon says, should be nice if, uh, it would be nice if the fans show, uh, show the family at some point. Yeah, I actually thought about that and if you click on a font that has a family, that has more styles, mm -hmm. uh, you will be able to choose this style with this little arrow over here. Oh. So this is the Yoshmi regular mm -hmm. um, style. And if you click on that, you could like uh, choose the light style or the italic. Okay. And then everything here will change to the style. Mm -hmm. And so you can yeah, play with the styles. Oh, that's a nice tip, Leo. I'd like to do a, um, um, a video clip of the interactions on Windows, which is not yet possible through the application. Oh, okay. But, you know, like to treat um, uh, XD like a game window and then record that oh, on Windows. All right, yeah, yeah that's mm -hmm. the solution. Three minutes. You're going to have a really hard time this time, Philip. All right. Yeah. Why is that? Uh, choosing because a winner. Are there so many? How many are there? No, there are many great submissions. Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Damn. <laughs> yeah, so I'm basically done with um, doing all the filter options mm -hmm. here. So I will just link them so that it works as yeah. a prototype. Okay. Let's start with that. We have a few more minutes before we um, uh, we look at the submissions. Do you ever get lost with the different yeah. mm -hmm. like arrows and in your things the lines? There. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, yeah, but mm. I think you can come back at it at some other point, mm. and then you, if you if you're restarting with a fresh eye, and you, yeah, maybe it then will work better. Okay, I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't happen that a lot because if you're Structuring it like in your in your mind also like also you're structuring it on mm -hmm. your document and in your mind Then I think most of the time it will work that you know mm -hmm. where the link should lead to and yeah right 
And I think, you know, before we go to the um, uh, to watch the submissions, maybe we can watch the Bauhaus video. Yeah, like let's 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 deep dive into the Bauhaus, you know. And uh, so everybody like gets a little sense of what the Bauhaus is and what the project was about. Only 14 years after its birth, the iconic Bauhaus School of Design was shut down by the Nazi regime. Many treasures and unfinished masterpieces were left behind, lost to the world. Founded on the central idea of training a new generation of artists to create a better world, Bauhaus laid the foundation for modern design as we know it and changed creativity forever. But in 1930s Germany, the progressive ideas of the Bauhaus were considered threatening and the school's closure became inevitable. But sometimes, what's been lost to history can be brought back. The influence of Bauhaus lives on, and now you can design with the piece of living history. All right, and we're back. Yes, we're back, and uh, well, yeah, as you can see, it was uh, super inspiring um, to actually be at the Bauhaus, to be able to um, to rummage through these uh, these sketches and, uh, and and find those and transform them into fonts. And Axel says the the other three fonts, please. Well, we're going to be putting them into the system in the coming months. So, and there will be other um, uh, contests as well. And as Vurubal pointed out, the deadline has passed. No more submissions after this point. This is the last time uh, today uh, for for submitting. Oh, Arndt looks stunning. Yeah, that's fine. My typography pro uh, professor was anti-Bauhaus, but I wish he would have given us more clarity on its history. This is incredible. Oh, thank you, Issa. Yes, I mean, you know, you don't have to be pro or uh, against the Bauhaus. The Bauhaus was uh, a philosophy, you know. Um, it was really um, the beginning of rational design. and. Uh, and, and this is what's fascinating about Bauhaus. Like they really re try to reduce, you know, all the all the things that you know that Art Nouveau and Rococo and all of these things brought us that had so much noise in them. And the Bauhaus was against all of those things um, and like tried to simplify everything. So yeah, um, it's just a school of thought. And uh, I think it's very cool that we have the opportunity today to talk about the Bauhaus. Amazing addition. How do you pronounce Bauhaus in German? Yeah, you pronounce Bauhaus. Bauhaus. Bauhaus in Dessau. Yeah? Yeah. So sagt man das? That's right. Okay. Yeah. That's right. This was intense. Oh, cool. <laughs> Very cool. Would love to have been one of those students. Yeah. I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, Jurassic typo can be brought back. Yeah, Jurassic typo. Haha. <laughs> Good one, Claire. Um, creative no boundaries. In a, okay. Um, okay. So let's go. Uh, if you want to go on. Um, on behance.net slash live. All right. And go. let's go to the challenge very quickly. Click before it goes in here and, and click on here, Woobox. There we go. Oh, otherwise, it gets all confusing on all the right. screen. And then view gallery. View gallery. Yeah. OK, so this means that this is where we yeah. stop. So let's okay. go down. Again. <laughs> OK. Oh. Yeah. Mr. Chez was very, um, oh wait, is there more? Oh, yes, no, second page. Is there a second page? Let me. Is there? Yeah, I think so. Is there so many? No, 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 wait, maybe we missed it. Yeah, yeah, we missed it, it's on the first page. 
All right, okay. Okay, so here, oh, wait, wait. Down more, 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 more. There. Oh, all right. Okay, so we start here. Okay, okay. All right? Yeah. All right. So, wow. Faisal. So, the task was to design a, a Bauhaus styled. A Bauhaus styled logo. Which has the Bauhaus style in it. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. Um, see a shadow. So, it's more like a, I don't know, material design. Mm -hmm. Material like, design. Like kind of a shadow. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know. Ryan Doran. My, my house. My house. My house. And that's Instead also the Bauhaus Dessau, right? Like the shape. Ah, it could be. It could yeah. be the Bauhaus. I like that they have this mm -hmm. construction lines. Yeah. And it's weird how, you know, how you associate Bauhaus with uh, architecture somehow, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. I do, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we have Chris. Chris, yeah. Nice. Has all the three main shapes in it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Square, Square triangle, and circle. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Bauhaus, yeah. It's a nice angle. Oh, Adobe. Oh. I like this one. The Adobe logo in the Bauhaus style. If Adobe hey, was founded by, <laughs> yeah. by then. <laughs> yeah, nice. I like this one actually, because the 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 I think it's an alternate, right? Mm -hmm. The A is the alternate of the Yoshmi font of the Yoshmi normal A, or is it the the regular I think, A? I think there's there it's a mix of the two fonts. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. I like it. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah, nice job. Bajos this. Oh, nice. Oh, that's nice. You found yeah. the ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, yeah. ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> that's who's that? That's Ben Salmonson. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. it's ca it kind of looks like a flag to me. Like, yeah. Could like the be the official Bauhaus flag. Oh, good point. Oh, he also presented, pre made, made a little bit of a presentation. Oh, wow. With mock ups mm -hmm. and I, I like that. Mm -hmm. put a little, Can you read it? Put more effort in it. DSNG, I think. Mm -hmm. Design. Design. For design. Maybe. Design for fun. Design for fun. I cool. like it. I like the effort that you made to actually yeah. put it in 3D, put it in an object, yeah. like make the whole. Um, yeah. That's a, a, always an important part mm -hmm. of creating yeah. something. Thank you, Val 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 Walter. Yeah. Oh, it's David it's, Yateman. It's loading or no? Yeah, I think it's an animation. Oh, it's an animation. All right, okay. So the B. There's something we're missing. Oh, so the B. So Are we missing maybe yeah, parts? I think. I think maybe we're missing, missing some around. parts. Or is it like that? The artistic Let me see <laughs> decision. If. Yeah, I think we're definitely missing a part there. Walter, are you in the chat? Just tell us if, if this is, uh, yeah, designing for fun, Walter. Yeah, okay. And David, no, it's David. David uh, yeah, yeah right. David, yeah. Was, yeah. Give us some information. Oh, it's framed in a B on the side, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, David Yat Yatman, okay. Is that the same? Oh, it's missing some of it. Oh, here, missing Just, some of yeah. it. Oh, damn it, David. Oh, um, can we find it? What is what missing? What does it do? Yeah. What's missing? <laughs> What's missing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, nice uh, 3D one. Okay, that's Sal Lipman. I like that you used the the main line of the main part of the H mm. for like the 3D effect because it's. Not 3D, but 3D. Mm -hmm. as I like that one. And the colors are also matching to the Bauhaus colors, I think. Olivier Bertrand. Das Coffee Bunker Studio. Yeah, I like this. Parts of the font really mm -hmm. look like uh, coffee beans. Co oh, it does. It, uh, the, yeah. the font does look like coffee beans. Yeah. I'm a bit disturbed by the... Script font? Yeah, 
That's it not doesn't very fit bad there. House. Yeah. yeah. But I like the pattern he created with yeah. the front. I like that. That's actually a very, very slick idea, Olivier. Yeah. Um, so maybe you should just put the studio in the same font, like in yeah. the Yoshmi font. Or just font. call it call it Coffee Bunker. Yeah, that's Coffee Bunker. <laughs> yeah, nice. Simon? May, make bill? Or may, eight bill? Am I missing something? May. Hmm. Or is it an I? We're gonna we're gonna try to to view it. Um, uh, uh, maybe Voodoo Val, can you see it? Um, uh, David Yateman's um, logo, like or animation. Uh, the Vert sixty style. Oh, Simon. Max Bill. Ah, okay. Go back to Simon. Yeah. Max Bill. Ah, Max Bill, all right. Ah, okay, I see the X now. Yeah, okay. I get confused because yeah, yeah, I, of the top and bottom ones. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I thought of an G first, then then an 8 a little bit, and then an I, and so... <laughs> yeah. Can, like, see a lot of the uh, of there. And, yeah. But the colors are... Are interesting, but mm -hmm. are they Bauhaus? Like mm. so many different colors. I don't know. You know, less is more. Yeah, looks right. like a rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit like a rainbow. It's interesting, but mm. maybe it's not that much of Bauhaus. This is also interesting. That's Claire. Claire Cross. Yeah. Okay, this looks like very sculptural and looks. Yeah. yeah. It looks like if Bauhaus would be in 3D, mm -hmm. like the Bauhaus. Uh, design in 3D. I think it's a nice idea to do that. Yeah. To play and with that. There's even the reflection of build on the Oh, on the right. Wall. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice little details. Yeah. Cool. It, lo it's, it looks like, um, what are these things that the, um, that hang and turn? A mobile, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's true. All right, okay. So this is also a little bit small. I can't, oh no, I can't read it. These are brand of toys from kids and this. Oh, this is like a longer one? It's yeah. Like, okay. Yes, David, we will look at it better. I promise. We're gonna look at it on, um, on Behance directly. I like this. I have some problems uh, reading it like Lee. Because mm -hmm. uh, I, that's from Angela. Okay. Yeah, I'm just seeing this little white ah, space yeah. uh, the first time, and then it's also here like very cut up, mm -hmm. cut, cropped, and I like the colors. I also like uh, the different. I enjoy the pattern making you guys are like yeah. developing in this uh, in this contest. Pattern is really cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. this is also like three D pattern. Mm -hmm. So I like this. Yeah, it's cool, Angela. Bohos, <laughs> bohos. Okay, yeah, it's like a like a house, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> and it's like got little details, like yeah. down there. Profile uh, app icon. Oh. Ah, okay. Oh, nice. And also the negative version, mm -hmm. like with a like in a monotone. Yeah. You know the rule, right? If it doesn't work in black yeah. and white, it doesn't work in color. Yeah, that's true. So this could be a logo for an architect, something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. But yeah, look, look, yeah. look below. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's an ambigram. Ambigram. What's it means that? you can read ups, upside or ah, yeah. all right. In the same way. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> that's like, nice. Like somebody else would have just turned the computer, but yeah. you turned yourself. I, I turned yeah. myself. I'm. <laughs> Thinking differently. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's pretty dope. Yeah, it's pretty dope. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I like it. I really like it. Yeah. Maybe that's the one. I don't know. But Maybe. I like it. That's from who? Akash. Yeah. Akash Yamba. Okay. I like this, the symmetrical. That's yeah. That's uh, uh, point he got there. Yeah, mm -hmm. with the E and the A. 
Nice. Oh yeah. Many no, that's shapes. right, David. <laughs> Some different versions. Okay. Yeah. Anel Henning. Yeah. Sketches. Oh, okay. These are sketches, and then and the that's final the one final one. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Using both fonts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, this looks retro. They're very vintage. Mm. I don't know if it looks like the Bauhaus style, but it looks like a. It could be yeah. a, like a Joe badge Cook. or something. Mm -hmm. Like a sticker they put somewhere. So a lot of uh, mm -hmm. the people like the A, mm -hmm. little, little, little A. And this, okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> That's a submission more, from? More, just for fun. Just for fun, okay, just for fun. <laughs> oh, it's not from Michael, I thought it was by No, Michael. no, it is Michael. Oh, it's Michael, all right, okay. Just for fun. No, maybe it's not. Maybe it's somebody who took who took Michael's picture from yesterday and okay, yeah, nice. Ah, so it's not so Michael. This will okay. be the winner. <laughs> can I stop now? I, I can go now, right? <laughs> okay. A Hima piano. Wow, that's nice. Huh. Yeah, you can definitely see the piano in there. And there is like a, um, like a, a perspective. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's true. Like it could be also the the Bauhaus desk. Mm -hmm. The yeah. shape. That's nice. That's, yeah, Hima. That's, that's, yeah, that's inspiring. Yeah. Many good ones today. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I told you so. Yeah. Oh, Rob Sullivan. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Also playing with the 3D idea to make like a perspective. Yeah. Oh, and Neil Arch says it's a logo for a kennel company, Bow House. Oh. Bow Wow House. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. okay. Heart oh, Held. Heart Held. Yeah, I think the logo is pretty nice if you zoom in. Like you can see yeah. huh? the different connections here. The symmetrical. I, yeah. I, like, I, like, I like that, that logo. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. The colors are not that quite the colors mm -hmm. they used as uh, yeah. they they've used at Bauhaus. So you do, should do a version where it looks like the Bauhaus color uh, mm -hmm. Bauhaus colors. So Mia, yeah. But nice I would way buy of putting it. together the letters. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bauhaus. Anna. All right. Oh, Bauhaus with a key. Like a key. key. Ah, key. yeah. yeah. So also a logo for an architect, mm -hmm. maybe. Oh, maybe for uh, like somebody who sells houses. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I meant that one. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Like an yeah, real estate. Like a real estate. Real person. estate. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And that's my favorite. <laughs> no, <laughs> so we're done. Okay. So yeah. we need to go back to uh, to the one that we didn't see properly, All right. which okay. is the animation. Okay. Double click on it. Okay. Ah. ah there we go. There it goes. Like loading. And then there's the B. Okay. I keep seeing two heads, like yeah, like <laughs> two <laughs> two hairs, <laughs> two hairs, right? yeah. hairstyles. Um, it's yeah. like you know the brothers from Oasis. You yeah. know? Like <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, and nice. that was um, David, right? David, yeah, okay. I think so. David Yateman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you, and sorry for yeah. the technical glitch that we weren't able to look at it uh, from the very beginning. So now, Ooh. Philip. Phew. How long do I have <laughs> to make that decision? You have <clears throat> not so long. Not we so have long. five minutes more in this uh, segment. All right. So I will be drinking for five minutes now? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, all right. Yeah. No, there were quite a few that... Um, yeah. Yeah, very nice work, everybody. That's yeah. really amazing. Yeah, very nice. Um, and remember, like, Philip will make a decision now, and no. um, somebody will win um, our our challenge here. But remember that if we didn't win, if you didn't win our challenge, you can always submit, like, try to submit your logo to, uh, to the... Um, uh, 
uh, Adobe Hidden Treasures challenge that's going on. And there, there's even the possibility to win a MacBook Pro. Yep, great yep. job, challengers. Um, and I really appreciate that you guys take the time to uh, to play, you know, with the the fonts that that we've created, and uh, and that you know that many of you really really dig um, the Bauhaus and understand, you know, some of the uh, basics behind it. And um, oh, thank you for the MacBook Pro challenge there. Yeah. And remember, there will be more fonts coming out um, uh, from these hidden treasures uh, in the next months. So stay tuned. And there's even a tutorial on how to use them. Okay. Thank you, Voodoo Val. What would we do without you? And Philip is still scrolling up and down the page. Um, Alex, he's, he's scratching his yeah. head, and you know, you know that's it, like if if you watch. You know, what is it? Lie to me, or what? What the series called? Like, that's like, like that's the thing that, that you're in trouble when you scratch your head. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like the Adobe ones, so this one and and that one because that's so mm -hmm. creative. Mm -hmm. They are really playing with the with the shapes and with the symmetrical order and. Also like this one, but it's mm -hmm. kind of like the one we picked yesterday. Mm -hmm. Think of. Of um, also like to make a de decision maybe between the ones that you really like like which one is to you is the more Bauhaus? Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. More Bauhaus, all right. So yeah, Voodoo Val, you know exactly what I mean. When Philip scratches his head, it means something. Yeah. You no, know, it really means something. Can't we pick two today? No, we can't. No. Okay. Nope. Yeah. Uh, just, just like this one. Would be cool, like to like have like a little heat map of where Philip is looking at. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have looked a lot on, on this. You have looked at a lot on this. On this, yeah. Okay. Ta -da! I think I will. There can only be one. I, will, I think I will pick this one. Click on it. Boom. Akash Yamba, you've just won yourself a one year subscription to Adobe Creative nice Cloud. Nice job. Nice job. Yeah. Thank you for Congratulations. Um, uh, for participating. And I really like, you know, I, I love ambigrams. Yeah. And I find it so cool that you found an ab ambigram with Adobe. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. And that, yeah, that you can read it both ways. Yeah. You guys should change your logo now. You can mime the thinker, yeah, like, mm. yeah. congrats, <laughs> yeah, thank you. I think, I think we all agree in the chat that this is pretty, pretty dope. <laughs> you can read dope yeah. as well, like, yeah, yeah right. Adobe dope, uh, dope logo. Um, yeah, good job, good job. Thank you so much. I hope, uh, oh, Akash is here. Yes, so congratulations oh, yeah. to you. All right, we just have a few more minutes. We have one more minute, actually. Let's, yeah. let's go back to your prototype. All right. And uh, let's just talk a little bit about uh, what's your plan for tomorrow. Yeah, so tomorrow I will be adding the Typekit um, mm -hmm. feature to this app so that you can browse through all of the fonts which are on Typekit and how the UI will change with the Typekit colors mm -hmm. because I want to, um, yeah, Distinguish this to this design, and yeah, so that's basically what we'll be. What we'll be All right, tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm yeah, also looking forward to see everybody back here on Adobe Live. Uh, we will be, we will be back uh, tomorrow with Caterina Bianchi, with Yerowen Krilars. So it sounded okay, right? Did I say that right? Yeah. <laughs> With Yeroen and of course Philip. Okay, so uh, please check the uh, the schedule tab, or maybe we can have the schedule behind us for a second, um, just to to make sure with the with the times. And um, uh, I'm re this week on Adobe Live. That's right. There we go. That, ah, there we go. Katerina, Yeroen, and Philip. Okay, for day three. If you've missed. Uh, the beginning of the stream or the stream from yesterday. The replays are available on behance.net slash live and also on the Adobe Creative Cloud 
YouTube channel. So thank you for joining us and come back tomorrow for more Bauhaus Dessau design goodness. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.